Welcome back to another recipe video. Today I'm sharing some very, very easy recipes because they only contain three ingredients. I also made sure that they were all very affordable and cheap, keeping them all under two pounds, I think. So anyone can try them out, whether you're a student or if you're on a budget. I definitely recommend that you add some other ingredients on top of the three that I'm showing you. So things like spices to make it taste a little bit more exciting, or other vegetables or other things that you would enjoy in the dish. I haven't counted salt and pepper or oil in the ingredients because I think that those things don't really count. They're in everyone's kitchens. I really want these recipes to show you that veganism doesn't need to be hard or expensive. It can be cheap and very easy. As always, all of the recipes will be linked down below on my website so you can have the written up version for you to follow along. So without further ado, let's get into the recipes. So I have finally brought back the classic recipe because so many of you fell in love with this hummus pasta recipe when I featured it in a what I ate today and now it's officially in a video that you can reference and it is written up below. This, I wish I had thought of this at university because it is the perfect student meal and it's so delicious. Mm. And the best thing again is it's so versatile because you could go for spinach or broccoli or mushrooms or whatever veg you fancy in there and also you can try out the different flavors of hummus that you can get your hands on um like i really want to try it with a spicy hummus or you can make your own hummus which i have a recipe for in my ebook and make a big batch of it and then use it whenever you need some hummus pasta this is just the dream Like this never end. We have to try and keep it up. Stay. I know that sometimes we pretend to love each other like we used to, but it's all good in the end. Cause that's what going on. That I'm fighting now that I see what is hiding underneath my skin. And I'm always sorry when you with my fault. Yeah, it's me that I'm fighting. Up to you if you peel your butternut squash or not. The reason I've roasted it like this is because butternut squash is so difficult to chop up when it's uh, raw because it's so hard. Um, I'm just gonna leave the skin on because it's good for you and we got an organic one um, but you could wait for it to totally cool um, if you did it like this and kind of peel it off or chop it off and it might be easier than when it's raw but totally up to you. Um, I'm just gonna leave the skin on though. At this time Stop asking why I'm struggling Stay It's a mystery why I'm here I guess I'm just too tired of fighting What you say? 
This is so delicious. It really doesn't take a lot of ingredients to make a really tasty soup. If you have the spices in your cupboard, definitely put in some chili or some paprika or some other things in there, maybe some cumin and garlic even. But um, if you just aren't somebody who enjoys cooking very much and you wanna keep it simple, then this is perfect. And roasting it, I was thinking if I was a student, chopping butternut squash is so annoying and difficult. Also having to watch over it boil and cook is a bit annoying. So just chopping it in half and shoving it in the oven, you can then go upstairs, do some work and come down when it's ready. And then it's just a matter of boiling it and then blending it makes it a lot easier and less preparation and less faff. So this recipe is kind of like a really cheap and really quick chili because a lot of supermarkets do like spicy or seasoned beans. These are taco mixed beans in a spicy tomato sauce from Tesco and this is going to be our chili. So if you're a student or if you really have no time or you just can't be bothered, this is perfect because you can have it with some rice and an avocado or some salad and it's really, really simple. Just thought I would share that with you as a little college student hack. All alone again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. Wondering how it could. This is the quickest and easiest way to have a chili and so cheap. But if you have sriracha or hot sauce or any other spices, then you can add that to the chi uh, to the beans um, to make it a little bit better. And maybe some lemon juice on top would really make it amazing. So we were filming another recipe eating it next door and we kind of burnt the chips a bit but life happens and we're just gonna make do and just leave out the kind of burnt ones but these ones look good it's just this one doesn't look so happy but I burn things too it's very easily done I'm breathing out So I think this is a really good one that you could share with flatmates or share with your family. And the way that I would do it is I would get the lettuce leaf and then load up one of the chips with some guacamole, whack it in the lettuce leaf, and then you've got yourself a little lettuce wrap with a potato in there. You'll probably put two potatoes in there actually. And also I would have ketchup with this too. Mmm. So when it comes to making your own pizza, you only need three ingredients, a pizza base, some vegan cheese, and some tomato passata. I did in a previous video make some pizza pitters with pita bread as the base, but you can buy um, pizza bases everywhere now, and I've got some gluten-free ones because it's virtually impossible to find frozen vegan pizza, so this is a really easy way you can make your own if your friends are having some pizza and it doesn't take any time at all. You can also add whatever toppings you like. So you can see here that you can add things like rocket, pepper, mushrooms, artichokes, spinach, whatever, but I'm gonna give you the basic recipe and um, show you how easy and cheap it can be. That 
took me the least time of all of them. Who says vegans can't have a pizza? Yum. Seriously though, look at that. That cheese. It's the Tesco cheese. It is this cheese if you're from the UK. It melts like a dream. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's a bit stinky when you open it to eat on its own, but melted. It's amazing. I haven't waited to eat this for so long. We've been taking so many pictures. Mm. It's so good. Mm. I'll be back with you when I've eaten the slice. Now you'd think as a vegan, you wouldn't be able to enjoy something like this, or even as a gluten-free vegan, you wouldn't be able to enjoy pizza. But this just goes to show that you can. We're very lucky in the UK that there are so many alternatives, and if you don't have locally have a vegan cheese available to you, then just make pizza without the cheese. I often do that when I eat out and they don't have vegan cheese on the menu. You can just ask for a pizza with just loads of veg on, and I've made them in the past as well from scratch. It is just if you do have a vegan cheese and give it a go, and top it with rocket, top it, top it with other things. But if you're on a budget and you're a student and you just want a classic margarita and you don't want to feel left out, this is a great way to do it. And most supermarkets nowadays have pizza bases. Um, they're not hard to come by. So that's it. Those are my three ingredient recipes. I really hope you enjoyed them. And let me know if you're gonna make any of them, take pictures, share them with me on Instagram and on Twitter or in my Facebook group and get creative with it. As I said at the start, try out some different ingredients in there, add some spices, add some different things that you enjoy and make them your own. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm. Oh my God.